Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use lattice modifier in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. Press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Right click and make shade smooth. Click on the modifier tab and add subdivision surface modifier. Apply the modifier. Press Shift A and add a lattice. Press Z key and switch to wireframe mode. Press numpad 1 to switch to front view. Press S key and scale up the lattice so that the sphere fits inside the lattice. Press Z key again and switch to solid view. Now, I want to deform the UV sphere by this lattice. There are two methods to add lattice modifier. Firstly, select the UV sphere, then, hold down shift key and select the lattice. The lattice should be second selection. Press Ctrl P, and set parent the lattice to UV sphere by choosing the lattice deform. When we select the UV sphere, we can see the lattice modifier has been added for the UV sphere. This is the easiest way to add lattice modifier. Let's delete the lattice modifier. Another way, with the sphere selected, go to modifier tab, and add lattice modifier. Choose the lattice object which to deform the UV sphere. Now, select the lattice, press tab key and switch to edit mode. Select these four vertices, Press S key and scale down. As you can see, the UV sphere is deforming according to shape of the lattice. Press Ctrl Z and undo back. Press G key, then Z key and grab the vertices up and down. In this case, the geometry will be stretched and squashed. We can make very interesting shapes by transforming the lattice object. Let's switch to object mode, and select the UV sphere. Strength value controls how strong the modifier will be applied. If we slide this value all the way down to zero, it means the lattice modifier won't affect the UV sphere. We can animate the strength value. Let's go to frame 1. Set the strength value to zero. Click on the little dot next to strength value. In this case, the keyframe will be added at frame 1. Go to frame 20. Set the strength value to 1 and click on the little dot. So, second keyframe will be added at frame 20. Let's play the animation. There we go. Let's delete the keyframes we have just added. Set the strength value to 1 again. With the sphere selected, switch to edit mode. As you can see, we cannot display modifier result in edit mode because, edit mode option is disabled. Let's enable the edit mode option. Also, enable the edit cage option. Now, we can display the lattice modifier in edit mode completely. Now, go to object data properties tab, click on the plus icon, and add new vertex group. Select these vertices. Click on the assign button and assign these vertices to the vertex group. Go back to modifier properties tab, and choose the vertex group we have just created. As you can see, only this vertex group deformed by lattice modifier. Let's delete the vertex group. Go back to object mode, and select the lattice. We can change the lattice properties. To do that, Click on the Object Data Properties tab. Switch to Edit Mode. We can change the lattice resolution in any direction. For example, let's set the U-Direction resolution to 4. In this case, 4 points will be in U-Direction. Let's set the V-Resolution to 4, and W-Resolution to 8. As you can see, we have much more control point to deform the sphere. For example, let's select these 4 points. Press G key, then Y key, and move out. Press numpad 3 to switch to side view. Move the vertices inward again. Select these vertices. 
Click on the plus icon and add a new vertex group. With the vertex weight set to 1, click on the assign button. As you can see, the vertices in this group have become red color. The other ones have blue color. It means, no influence of the lattice in the blue ones. In the red ones, the lattice influence will be full. Let's choose the vertex group, and go back to object mode. There we go. Let's select the sphere, and move the sphere up and down on the z-axis. We can have interesting effects like this, and animate them. It is kind of deformation tunnel. Select the lattice, and delete the vertex group. We can also add shape keys. Click on the plus icon and add basis shape key. Add another shape key. Rename the shape key as stretching. Go back to edit mode. Select these vertices. Press S key, then, Y key and scale up on the Y axis. Go back to object mode again, and increase the value. As you can see, with the value set to 0, we have basis shape. When we increase the value, the geometry turns into stretching shape. That's cool. We can add keyframes and animate the value. With the value set to 0, go to frame 1. Hover over the value, and hit the I key. So, the first keyframe will be added at frame 1. Then, go to frame 20. Set the value all the way up to 1. Hover over the value, and hit the I key again. Let's play the animation. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.